Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. It is time for another Featured Friday and today I'm actually out in the field gathering new content for you as you can see, exploring some old mining regions. And I almost forgot about our Featured Friday, so I have a rock for you today for the Featured Friday. For anyone that's new, the Featured Friday goes like this. I show you some feature, a rock, something else in the field, a big view. I point out something and I say, tell me what that is. You make a guess, you put it in the comments, and at the end of the, towards the end of the video, at some point in the video, I will tell you a little more information about what we have. But it's a fun challenge to try to guess. So if you want to play along, throw your comment in the guess. You can always add a new comment later if you, you know, figure something else along the way because I will give hints. So this is our rock sample for today. This is what I have. Okay. Might not look like much yet. Let's do some looking and explaining first. So let's take a look at that. Okay. So the first lesson that we might get out of this is surface coloration. Um, if you look at this, you might be seeing like kind of an orange tinge, but let me show you a cracked open version of this. So you always want to look on, you always want to look at the rock if you're analyzing it, not just on the surface that might have been sitting around for a while and getting stained. Uh, you want to, because you get black coatings, reddish coatings, all kinds of stuff. It doesn't really tell you what's going on with that rock. So if it's not already broken, you really want to break off a piece with your hammer if you can. Um, if you don't have a hammer, you can always try throwing it at a rock. That works too, as long as the rock you're throwing it at is a bit harder than the one you're trying to break open. Uh, so yeah, so you, I have a, oh, I think, yeah, that's probably the best side to look at it. A little bit that side. Uh, let's look at this side. Okay, so that's our broken surface there. Let me get a better view here. There you go. Okay, so that gives us a bit of a better view. Now you can see some stuff going on here even in the unbroken surface so we can look at that now but just know that this is more the texture and coloration of this rock to be fair so this is sort of a blackish greenish coloration that's what i'm seeing here there's there's a bit of a greenish and you see some kind of white specks in there so just kind of analyze the rock and see what you see what you want to look for is texture and then you can move on to kind of a mineral identification mode. Okay, so I can tell you we are on theme with the last several featured Fridays. It's not totally on purpose, it just has to do with the environments I've been in lately. So I will tell you that this is an igneous rock. So there's one big hint. That narrows it down. You don't have to guess a bunch of other rocks now. You can go to the igneous category, but now you have the fun of determining what kind of rock we have. So remember, First thing you want to be thinking of, is this along the, the lines of extrusive or intrusive? Was this something that cooled below the surface or was this maybe a near surface or even extruded? That would be extrusive material. Something that wasn't cooling at depth, okay? So let me try to get different angles and views for you. Okay, <clears throat> so the texture here is, let's get closer here so you can get a better view. So you can kind of see, I'll move it around. Look for the mineral grains, crystals. What do, you, what do you see? Do you see like a consistent pattern there? Do you see like a lot of similarly sized, similarly looking crystals? Or do you see some variation? Is it all sort of small fine mass? Or is it like, is it, is it larger? Are some small and some are larger? See what you see there. That'll become important in a second. Okay. And then... Coloration sometimes can be a pretty important hint as well. So I'm not going to throw that out. It's just something you have to be careful with, with identification, particularly with minerals. Um, but even with rocks, there's variation. And in the field, you find an intermediate version of every intermediate version. So just be careful because in actual field samples, not everything is perfect. Okay. So like I said, we have an igneous rock. So maybe you took your guess, maybe not yet. Let's, let's point out some other things that we have going on here. Um, we obviously see, hopefully you've seen these large crystals, large kind of blocky prismatic looking crystals in here. There they are all over the place. Okay. And they're, they're black, they're black colored crystals in here. And there's also some crystals that are more like rounded. And then there's a little bit of those lighter tone crystals in there. So we do have some light colored stuff. 
okay? So <clears throat> I will tell you that another hint, this is an extrusive igneous rock, okay? So this, the category that this rock falls in is extrusive igneous. So now you are left with a handful of rocks in that category. So when you see these darker minerals, you should be thinking along the lines of, well, there's some ferromagnesian minerals going on in there, and that might help us narrow it down because that would rule out something like a rhyolite, which we've been looking at. We looked at, I think in the last one or two uh, featured Fridays, we looked at some, some rhyolitic rocks. So that rules that out. Um, but again, think, is this all the way on the other end, which would be a basalt, or is this kind of intermediate? Okay, so let's talk about what we have here now. What we have is an andesite porphyry. That's what this rock is. So if you happen to guess an andesite, you're correct. Andesite porphyry would be specific, and that's mostly referring to that texture that I've been focusing on. So when we categorize igneous rocks, we say things like, well, is it um, phaneritic, aphanitic, or porphyritic, okay? And that just talks about the texture and kind of the evenness of what we see um, so if the grains were all kind of similar, then we might say it's an, it's an aphanitic texture. But in this case, we have a porphyritic texture. That's why I said an andesite porphyry. What you have there is, you see, it's kind of a finer background mass, but then there's these large crystals. This is very uneven. They just kind of, you know, really stand out in this. So that's a porphyry. So it's an andesite porphyry. And this is, so when you see those greenish blackish, minerals going on here. What we notice is there are some ferromagnesian crystals. Um, there are some ferromagnesian minerals going on here, and that is primarily in, a, in an andesite that would be pyroxene's hornblende. So it's, it's pretty common to have hornblende phenocrease, these large crystals um, in that background mass. So that's pretty characteristic of an andesite. And then you also get some silicates, you'll get some uh, plagioclase minerals in these as well. So that's primarily what makes up the andesite. And you might be thinking, how boring, who cares about, you know, what exactly we call a rock? Well, for one thing, it actually helps us identify, you know, more things about the rock. But it also tells us something about the environment, and that becomes really important. Because this rock, then it can be assumed or concluded that because we have an andesite porphyry here, that this formed at a convergent boundary. So that's like a volcanic arc type environment or a subduction zone. And this is where it gets interesting when we can infer these environments because right now I'm in the middle of Nevada. So you might be thinking, well, that's weird. It's not like I'm on the West Coast where I would expect rocks that formed at a plate boundary. So what's going on here? Well, that's actually the topic of an upcoming adventure that I'm working on right now. So if you guys stay tuned, when I'm done with this, I'm going to have an adventure that's going to explain, did someone bring this rock here? How did this rock get here? Did it actually form in this area and why? So all that and more on the next Geo Adventure here at Let's Go Geo. And if you want to guess, if you want to test yourself and guess at more featured Fridays, then I'll stick the playlist link here as usual. Otherwise, just go to the Featured Friday playlist and you can try them all and you can see how you do and even throw your score in the comments if you want to brag about it. Okay, so I'll see you guys here on the next adventure at Let's Go Geo.